Good evening, I'm Paula Akana. And I'm Laura Yamada. A double murder-suicide could lead to changes in laws protecting victims of abuse. Christine Cass had talked about getting a restraining order against 43-year-old Claiborne Conley. However, she did not file any paperwork before last Friday's shooting. Police believe Conley broke into Cass's Makiki home, shot her, her 13-year-old daughter, Shauna, their family dog, and then himself. KITV4 has learned Conley had a history of mental illness and was released from the state hospital just last February. The tragedy has led one state lawmaker to reintroduce a bill establishing the electronic filing system for protective orders. That way domestic abuse victims could file for temporary restraining orders after hours, during nights and on weekends. KITV4's Jody Leong joins us live with the nuts and bolts of the proposal. Jody. Paula and Laura, it would be called ETRO. There is a similar law pl in place in New Jersey right now, but the measure received a lukewarm response from Hawaii lawmakers this past session. Tonight, State Representative John Mizuno says he will revive the proposal after last week's double murder suicide. It is too late for Christine Cass and her 13-year-old daughter, Sandra. They were shot and killed in their Makiki home early Friday morning. Police believe Claiborne Conley killed them before taking his own life. It happened just hours after Cass reportedly told a friend she was thinking of filing a temporary restraining order against Conley. Representative John Mizuno believes an electronic TRO filing system may help avert more tragedies like this. The key is that it would have been another option for our police officers to use, as well as our victims of domestic violence. Mizuno will reintroduce a bill that establishes a three-year pilot project across the state that would allow domestic violence victims to request protective orders online seven days a week. Mizuno wrote and introduced a similar bill last legislative session, but it failed because of concerns over cost and infrastructure. We would need to have outstanding connectivity with all the computer systems. That would include all counties, police, and the judiciary. Meanwhile, we are learning more about Conley. Court documents reveal in January of 2007, Conley climbed over a balcony on the 26th floor of this Ward Avenue building and threw a glass table, chairs, and other furniture onto cars below. The report also says Conley tried to shove a resident over the balcony after that resident confronted him. Conley was found not guilty by reason of insanity and sent to the state hospital in Kaneohe. Court files also show doctors diagnosed Conley with post-traumatic stress disorder, alcohol and opiate dependence. Conley was released from the state hospital last February. Deadly rampage would follow six months later. We now know Conley was a 1985 graduate of Kailua High School. Records show he started having psychiatric problems in 2006 following four tours of duty in the Middle East. And one more note, there will be a domestic violence march in honor of Christine and Sandra Cass on Wednesday evening at the state capitol. And if you'd like more information on Mizuno's ETRO proposal and exactly how that will work, go to our website at KITV.com. Paula? All right, thank you very much, Jody.